We got invited out onto some private property, so we're gonna take advantage of it here November 26th, the day after Christmas. Christmas. Here we go. Guess what? We didn't see anything! <laughs> it's perfect. What are we? We're the no crew. Yeah, the no crew. The no see, the no crew, the no nothing. <laughs> so this guy invites us to come hunt on, on his little parcel of land that he sees deer all the time. That he hunts eight or better and that's it. Yeah, eight points or better. And, and uh, got two this year and has ten point out there. And, so he felt sorry for us nomads, and he's like, hey, come out on my property. You guys will get deer. Uh-huh. Guess what? Don't invite us on your property, because all the deer will run away, and you'll never see them. Ever again. Ever again. Ever and ever and ever. But it was nice to get out in the woods. It was a cold one tonight, though. My Woo! toes are still numb. Yep, yep. A little bit chilly out there, so. Let me use them to chill my drink when we get home. I'm going to go up for the uh, Cruel Dog solo tour coming up here. I'm going to go back up north. I don't know if I'm going to go into the woods or not. Uh, we're going to see how sketchy the trails are if I can get down them. But anyways, uh, that's a field report here for uh, December 26, 2020. Me and the Jer Bear. Not a thing. Not a thing. Peace be with you. See you on the flip side. Got anything? See what shakes loose. See what shakes loose! How about this for a rarity, Nomadians? Uh, December 31st, and the uh, the band is sort of together. We're missing our drummer. He's got the two string players. Snow. And lots of snow. Lots of snow. <clears throat> and we're going to go see what we can see. We have no plans. No expectations. We don't even care. We're just going out in the woods to do Have it. Have bows, we'll travel. That'll yep. be our little motto. Have bows, we'll travel. We're going to hunt. Hunt what? That's exactly right. Hunt where? Don't know. What this was for? kind of totally unplanned, but you know what? I'm digging it. I used to used to have a tradition years ago of going out New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. And uh, I was just looking if there's any shanties on there. Looking for ice fishermen. And uh, it's been a while since I've done a New Year's Eve and a New Year's Day because um, I've always been down in the flatlands, but now I'm up in God's country, and now it's a whole new world. You can do what you want. Come and go as you please. A whole new world to go with the whole new order, world order. <laughs> you sanded the road for See that? Somebody everything. sold it. They sold it. Somebody sold the swamp. Dash cam with our voices in the background. It all looks like snow, so you don't even know where we're at, which is a good thing. We don't want y'all following us out here and stealing our secret spot. That's the worst Christmas tree I've ever seen. Yes. That's terrible. Yeah. It's like looks like almost like one branch. This is what I didn't like about this. This road is so sketchy. It's all ice underneath this snow. All ice. Oh yeah, it is. And for all you flatlanders down there, downstate. Uh, this is what they call a, uh, what do they call it? A seasonal road. Yeah. There is no plowing. You are the plow. You are the plow. The plow is you. Feels like it's a little sketchy too. Uh, just, I think as long as we stay out of that, stay out of that, we'll be all right. Yeah. Okay. We have no idea what we're going to do. Um, we're way away from where we've been hunting, probably three quarters of a mile from where we were hunting. 
we stopped a little bit short because it is uh, road sketchy. The only thing that's been out here is snowmobiles and old Grey Bear brought the pickup truck. And the hopes are that we can get out of here. Maybe I'm just in a... <laughs> Maybe I'm just in a place... In a low area? I'm, that's what it is, I'm in a low area. Because it's... I got, like, that's... As soon as I stepped out, I'm like, eh, it's a little deeper than I thought it was going to be. What I'm thinking of doing is I might just grab my bow and just walk the two-track back to where Jeremy and I hunted last year. Probably gonna go down the road and see if there's anything down there. If there's nothing down there, I might go back that way a little bit. Uh, I mean, I, we know that people were hunting over here, and you said he's hit, you know, good. Yeah, there's some tracks. There's some tracks coming in. But yeah, I may I just. I don't know. Kind of, kind of mixed up a little bit because I think you're right. I think looking in here would be not a half bad idea either to see if anything's moving through there. So who knows? I'm gonna have snow all on the inside. No ideas. So I found a little spot here that's got a bunch of the ground tore up that they're eating, so I got myself squirreled away in a kind of a deadfall area. I'm just gonna trust in my camouflage and hope for the best. We'll see what happens. It is another full moon because we have a tendency to do. If you if you put your finger in front of the lens, don't you're gonna kill us off. <laughs> <laughs> the next thing you know, we're in a, a pair. Well, Whew. so whole gray bear recorded a whole sequence, and his camera said, oh, "Oh, did I do that?" Oh. You three-year-olds will appreciate that. Can you see it? There. We gotta do the and the. Ah, to be young again. What I oh, would give to, be to be young again. Thirty years younger than a woman. No, so you know where that where that log juts out that we we're all like, I don't know why somebody didn't cut that yes, back further. I do not know right there, there's tracks back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So I go a little bit further, and where we would pull in to turn around. Last year or whatever, right. just before that on the right-hand side, remember where you said, "Oh, I see a buck over there." Yeah, remember that? Right, right down in there, it's all rototilled. Wow! Like the, all the leaves are all tore up. There's, it looks like there had to been, probably I would say six to eight deer had been in there doing whatever they were doing, and then the tracks are like all over the place. You want to follow deer tracks? Go back there; they'll take you everywhere. You found the mother load then. Um, I didn't find enough. I wanted to go. To I wanted to go further because I wanted to see if those other dudes left their stands, mm -hmm. and if they did, I was gonna hunt them. <laughs> not take them, just not. Hunt them. I just hunt them. I'm not stealing anybody's stuff. That's right. Um. So I was gonna go back there, but then I got back there and the snow was like knee deep, and I'm like, nope, nope, not walking the rest of the way like this. And it was already like ten after four, five after four, and I'm like, I'm gonna double back. I saw a deadfall that was back there, and I'm going to just go stand in that deadfall. And I had a, I mentioned this earlier to the folks that were watching my video. I'll mention it again. 
Uh, so theoretically, if you're if you're camouflage and standing completely still and not moving, them deer are not going to know what you are. Yeah, they don't see you moving and they don't smell you. You're good. That's why Fred Bear would be like, yeah, don't so, move. You know. So I uh, I trusted my camouflage and I I had good back cover. I had no front cover because I'm shooting my bow and I don't want to be shooting mm -hmm. through Garage. a mess. Anyways, we got to go get some milk so she can cook some chow. So we're going to... Milk ho! Milk ho, here we go. Bye, everybody. Sayonara. Oh, we're doing this thing. <sighs> Another day. Oh, look. Wave in the background. Oh, hi. Say hi, nomads. What? What? Are you camera ready? Is that what you were saying? Oh, I am not camera ready. I didn't put any makeup on. That is perfect because that's how we do stuff. <laughs> that's how we roll. We, we we rarely wear makeup on camera. I know. No, yeah. I have a toddler fat lip I could have covered up too, but I didn't know that. Uh uh. That's that's proud mama scar right there. <laughs> mama style? Mama scar. Boy mom life. Yeah. The last hunt of the year. Well, at least for deer. I think the old deer bear wants to try some coyote hunting. It's the thing to do. We gotta keep them turkeys alive. I know. And those fawns. And don't forget to put in for your turkey licenses either because it's that time of year, January 1st, February 1st. Put in for your turkey permit. Dang it. I know. Start thinking about turkey season. All right, here we go. This will be the end of season eight. Is the thing supposed to go under my hat or over my hat? Hold on. What do you get? Water? No, I'm good. <laughs> it's whiskey. Why? You change your mind? Well, if it was whiskey, I'd be taking it. <laughs> All right, let's I'm make our way out of here. Have a swallow. It's just water. Sorry, I got nothing. I know. I offered it to him. He's like, "What's in it?" I'm like, "Water." He oh. Goes, oh, never mind. Yeah. I'm like, what do you got there? Some whiskey, I'll take some of that. Yeah. That'll put a little warm in you. Oh, we're gonna get, get in trouble for violating the... I ended up risking getting my fingers cold so I could take the hand warmers off and put them in my boots. Yeah, your toes started getting a little frosted, did they? Yeah. I had, uh, I didn't see anything, but when I was coming out, I heard one blow at me. Really? Out there. Whew. That's a chilly one. Oh, my camera's all fogged up. We can't see Brittany. Oh. She's all fogged up too. Yeah. Everything's chilly. <laughs> Everything we got. It might just be my, my glossiness Every, from the ice. 
Yeah. So we're trying to got is chilly. Trying to get our uh, our future cameraman trained back there. Here we go. How's that? There we go. Oh, there you are. Um, hey, say hi, nomads. <laughs> she's so she's as excited as Jerry. Jerry. Yeah. That's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, two peas in a Boy, pod. It runs in the family, just so we uh we're walking down that two check and I'm thinking it was like the one that you were hunting on that the guy sat right next to you. Yeah. So I'm thinking it was back there and we're walking and I see two deer busting through the woods but coming from my left. And I told Brittany, I go, look, look, and I'm like, oh man, those look like bucks. And they must have been bedding back, bend, you know where my tree stand used to be right, up here? Right, right, I think they were bedding down back there when we walked down the road. They saw you. They saw you and started moving. When we cut in, we were cutting the angle down, so they just stepped it up to get going. And they went, they, they, that, so that clearing that you can see there, they went across that clearing. Right. If you'd have been gun hunting in a tree stand. Yep. Yeah. Um, and then, so there's, there's a, a bunch of deadfalls that are there. So we picked one of them and she was sitting in the crick of a tree, you know, a split tree, mm -hmm. and I was sitting in another one. And probably 50 yards out in front of me, I start seeing a doe walking through. So you sit on the high ground and it kind of goes down right, a little right. bit. So I was sitting up and I could see her moving through there and I'm like, man, maybe she'll turn and come in front of us. And nope, she buggered off. I, you remember that one that one a couple of years ago when I was hunting and it walked right next to me, but it, back on the other yep. side of the thing. I'm telling you, she is making it. I'm, it's her. It's, I'm convinced that because we've seen another single doe walking around, and I bet you she's got gingivitis, <laughs> and that's why she's got no fellers following yeah, her around. Yeah, she's got stink breath. Yeah. She's got yeah, or yeah. stinky feet, or yeah. You know, that, that one was all alone. Something which I thought I thought it was weird that it was it all is alone. weird, especially yeah. this time of the year. They should be herding tiny up together. Too. Yeah. Like she was yeah. Or small maybe size. somebody took my mom, mom and brother or mom and sister and that yeah. was a button and All oh, right. It could be anything. Let's head our, uh, that's it. That's it. That's the end of season uh it's the end of season eight. Eight. It's weird because it's season eight, but it's actually year Oh yeah. Twenty? I don't even know anymore. I'm gonna have to been a bit. It can't be twenty. I don't think you knew me when I was twelve. I don't know. Probably pretty when you were pretty young. Yep. I'd say Jeremy went so. No. What did we say 19? I'd say because Jeremy, I think the first years that we Earth. hunted together were with Jeremy and he was. But yeah, we hunted out in Kalkaska though. Before Around, he. It's got to be. I'm saying 15 years at least. Well, figure. Well, well Jer, yeah. Jer, well, Jeremy was probably 15 and 16. They, yep. they kind of met with both yep. and Jeremy were 15 and 16 or somewhere around there. So whatever that math is, it's been that many seasons. Yep. That yeah, eight seasons, seasons, seasons doesn't but. doesn't collectively take in the amount of time we wanted together. Right. All right, time to buckle up and let's not get stuck on the way out. Uh, go home have and good time. have some sort of Harry Potter stew that's cooking.